last time we spoke about what the peak and plateau pressure is, now it's time to tell you how to use those pressures in clinical practice. But if you need a little review, the peak pressure is the summation of the resistance in the airways and the tube, as well as the static compliance of the lung. And the plateau pressure is when you take an inspiratory pause, so there's no resistance in the airways, all you have is the static compliance of the lung. When you take both those pressures together and compare them, you can figure out some critical information about what's going on with your patient. Well, let's do an example. If your peak pressure is high and your plateau pressures are normal, that tells you that there is a high level of resistance in the airway. Ways. This could be consistent with bronchoconstriction, a mucus plug in the airway, or a kink or someone biting on the tube. But if your peak pressure and your plateau pressure is both elevated, that tells you that there's a problem with the static compliance and the resistance component is not really a problem. Think about things like pneumothorax, stiff lungs like an ARDS. Maybe the issue is external to the lung, like there's increased abdominal pressures or there's a stiff chest wall. Whenever someone tells you that the peak pressure is high, always ask what the plateau pressure is because the relation of those two pressures is going to tell you what's going on with your patient.